over-functioning that promotes learned helplessness. This is a wonderful phrase. It's deep into the territory of psychotherapy. Teaching people how to be helpless by over-functioning in their space. Over-functioning is defined as doing for others what others should and could be doing for themselves. And it's the neediness of the overfunctioner that drives the process. And in all relationships, there's overfunctioning and underfunctioning. In every marriage, there's a pursuer and a distancer. So, the overfunctioner, I'm sort of grew up in this. I'm an oldest of five, and I grew up doing, you know, being the go to person, taking care of everybody. I, and I reached a point in my life where I had to say to myself, you know what? The people around me are getting weaker and weaker as I'm taking all this responsibility and I'm getting more stressed. I'm getting stressed and they're becoming more helpless. Why don't they change? That's what I'm saying. But they have no incentive to change. They have a great life. I have to be the one to say, you know, I don't think, I don't think this one's on me. Or when someone comes to me with a problem, instead of saying, what can I do to help you, I might say, what do you think you can do about this? Now that sounds like, in a system like this, uncaring leadership. What I'm telling you is, it might be the smartest thing you could say to somebody to help them grow. Instead of saying, how can I help you, you, you saying, what do you think your options are right now? making it very clear who's got the problem. So when we overfunction in people's space, we teach them how to be helpless. Many of us have done this with our own children. I got a call from a psychiatrist in Japan a few years ago asking me to go to Okinawa to address a group of psychiatrists. She said, the problem we have in this country is we, we raise these kids, we primp them up, we tell them they're the most special thing in the world, now they're 22, 26, 28, they can't do anything, they have no confidence, and they think the world owes them everything. She could have been talking about this culture, easy. And the parents are saying, I can't believe, here's what my, my uh, clients say to me, the presidents, the young people today, they don't have a work ethic. Well, who raised these young people? <laughs> the person talking to me raised them. No, because we want to help people all the time. Caring more about people than Moses, Jesus, and the Buddha combined. <laughs> we, we care so much for people that we flush them down the toilet and everybody's feeling really good going down. <laughs> we're feeling good because we're really caring. They're feeling really good because they don't have to put out. And we're just really, really tight as we're going down the toilet. <laughs> 